Okay, in this next set of videos, we're going to be taking a look at lipids and lipid special properties. But first off, I want to start off by pointing out that lipids are formed the same way that other macromolecules are formed. So proteins are formed by amino acids joining together by condensation reactions. Uh, disaccharides and polysaccharides are formed together also from condensation reactions. So lipids are no different. And a fancy word for lipid is a triglyceride. So triglyceride, if you break down the word, it sounds like there's three of something over here from tri and then this glyceride bit. So it turns out a lipid molecule or a large triglyceride molecule is made up of two different types of subunits. This molecule you're looking at over here is called glycerol and I remember this by looking at the OH, OH, OH and I say to myself, OOO glycerol. There we go. So that's called glycerol. These molecules over here are just fatty acid molecules. And there's three fatty acid molecules that can join to each glycerol molecule. So look at how this is going to work. It's very simple. One condensation reaction happens here. Another condensation reaction happens here. And another condensation reaction happens here. So that's an H2O molecule that comes off right there. That's another H2O molecule that comes off right there. And the third H2O molecule that comes off. And when this joins up, you end up with a large triglyceride molecule. You can modify this as well too. So sometimes two of these fatty acids will attach and you don't have to attach this one. You can attach something else. You can attach a phosphate group. It looks something like this with a bunch of oxygens. A phosphate group can attach. And guess what? When a phosphate group attaches here and two fatty acids attach here, you basically end up making a phospholipid molecule. So a phospholipid molecule is just another type of lipid and this phospholipid molecule you probably heard of before it makes up the main component of the plasma membrane of the cell so we're going to take a look at more specific details about lipids up in the next videos